The concept I'd like to introduce in this video is uh, the gradient of a straight line to represent the rate that something changes. So, for example, I've just come up with this example. So you've got the area maybe of a property, so area of a house, uh, floor, the floor area, um, and how much you have to pay for a certain bill uh, based on the area of your house. So the area of the plot of land that it sits on. So let's say that it is a linear relationship. So linear straight line starting at 0, 0. And then for every 10 square metres, you must pay £90. So this represents how the area can change and how that will alter the cost. So you could look at the gradient of this line using the information that we learnt with linear graphs to look at the difference in the cost over the difference in the area. So the difference in the cost divided by the difference in the area would be represented by 90, because 90 pounds there, over 10. So DC by DA would be 9. So the gradient of this line is 9. The rate at which the cost changes with respect to the area of the house is 9. Okay? So there is a genuine link between the gradient of a line and the rate at which it changes. And it is described using this operator, okay, dc by dA in this case, depending on how the axes have been labelled. In general, what we'll be dealing with is xy axes. And so we'll be looking at dy by dx, the difference in the y coordinates divided by the difference in the x coordinates. And dy by dx governs the gradient of a line or of a curve. So if you had, for example, a straight line, y is equal to 3x plus 2, and that would be represented by a straight line like this, then the gradient or the rate of change of this line is 3 because we can easily identify that it's 3, because that is the coefficient of x. So dy by dx is 3. This is the first step to understanding the process called differentiation. And this looks at dy by dx for a multitude of functions, and is an incredibly important part of A-level maths and beyond.